said, well, the weather was fine today. Why did we see that? Well, we're here to answer that question, okay? I want to show you a few tweets, though. We had this one tweeted out, Vaughn Mills Mall, don't bother going there today. It was closed due to the power outage. We had people from Toronto One tweeting out, thanks for your continued patience in the York and the Durham regions as they're continuing to restore power. And also, Toronto Hydro, if you spot the wires down, stay back. And of course, you can report it to Toronto Hydro. There's the number right there. Now, we also had Steve tweet me, and he said that he was texting a friend in London, Ontario, and they were also without power for about 45 minutes to an hour. So this wasn't an issue just within the GTA, also in through southwestern Ontario. But I like this tweet because it raises a good point here. Why is there another power outage in Toronto? The weather is fine. There is no good reason for this. Well, Patricia, this actually does have to do with the weather. Hydro pole fires are caused by salt water conducting electricity into the wooden part of the pole. We had a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. We also had a lot of salt content in the atmosphere as well. So unfortunately, that acts as a conductor. You see that spark, and that's how we get the fire on the hydro pole. So it does have to do with the weather. Okay, let's get into our weather story here. We see snow up to the north. That's all clearing out. If you are traveling up through Ottawa, Notice there are some freezing rain warnings in place, looking for some very slick conditions. But living in the GTA, if you're staying in the GTA for March break for Sunday and through Monday, this warm front, it's going to be your friend. It's really bumping up some of the temperatures. You can see the snow that all stays to the north, some mixing along the 401, so do be cautious for that. Now I want you to stay with us because we have more on your March break forecast. It's all coming up. The salt essentially acts as a conductor of this electricity, sparking it. It falls onto the wood poles. Yeah, and that's how we get some of those fires, some of those big fires that have brought down some of the hydro lines. Lots of people dealt with power outages throughout the day on Saturday in the GTA. I'm glad you're here because we're looking at this. Temperatures right across the board. Edmonton, 14 degrees. Calgary at 16. Boy, that Chinook really in your favor on Saturday. Also, Toronto was quite warm. Winnipeg as well. You see where that cold air is out into the Atlantic, and things are going to stay pretty cool out there throughout the next few days as quite a powerful snowstorm is headed through, and this really is going to be creating some travel delays. I could imagine if you have a flight out to Halifax, you can expect that to be delayed, really 35 centimeters of snow on the way, and then temperatures throughout southern Ontario staying above seasonal. I want to show you something really cool here. This is a time lapse of Niagara Falls. Check it out. Yeah, do not recommend trying that, but awesome stuff there. And you know what? If you have a time lapse video, if this is something you like to do, you can upload it to upload.theweathernetwork.com and we feature a new time lapse every Tuesday right here on our channel. Okay, it's March break. Maybe you want to head to Niagara Falls. The weather is looking very nice. So let's highlight a few places here within the GTA. Look at this. Hamilton, eight degrees on Monday. That is probably going to be the best day of March break if you're looking for those spring-like temperatures. Brampton, same thing goes for you. Nine degrees but you know what I'm hiding something here Friday is the first day of spring and look at this temperatures are back down throughout southern Ontario and snow yeah flurries coming into the forecast so enjoy this week because temperatures are gonna fall into next weekend this is Barrie on Monday five degrees still seeing very nice conditions if you're heading up to Snow Valley Things are going to be looking great to go skiing this week. One degree, that's really perfect conditions to go. And as we look at the city of Toronto, eight degrees on Monday. But again, this could be bumped up a little bit as conditions are just looking so favorable to see those very warm conditions throughout the GTA. Okay, I want you to stay with us because this snowstorm has nothing on Cyclone Pam. Uh, the wind is region, even over towards Guelph without power. And it's all because of the weather. Yeah salt in the atmosphere. We're going to explain why that happens coming up throughout the show and I'll also show you some tweets as well. Rachel shoots in here with you. I'm glad you're here with us. Have a look at the city of Toronto. Some daytime highs on Saturday. Whew, it was nice. Six degrees and you know what? Temperatures are only climbing from here. Getting a little warmer on Sunday and beautiful on Monday. Monday is the best day of the March break it looks like. So we see through the overnight that system that brought some snow up to the north that moves out of the way so our cloud cover starts to clear out as well. That warm front comes through and yes that's really going to influence our temperatures in through Monday. This is a little forecast for Sunday afternoon. This is what we're expecting here. City of Toronto 6, Hamilton a little bit warmer at 7. 
but as we look at Monday, that's really when the temperatures are looking to be very above seasonal. Sunday afternoon, a little bit of a wider shot here. Maybe you're traveling up to Barrie, four degrees into cottage country. It's going to look quite similar to this as well. We're seeing a lot of that snow starting to melt. Yeah, doesn't the landscape look a lot different out there? It really does. So when we look at these temperatures like this, Three degrees, two degrees, that's just about seasonal. So when we look at six for Toronto, we're starting to get into a little bit of a treat. Okay, our storm hunters, they're starting off a new season, but have a look at this. Top five storm hunter moments. Yes, it's time for it, the weather selfie. Every weekend, we ask you to send us a video talking about your weather. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you excited for spring? Yeah, the first day of spring is on Friday, so we feature you here on the Weather Network. So let me show you Amelia and Aurora from Mississauga, Ontario. Both of them liking the cold. Really, guys? We're finally getting into those nicer temperatures. But hey, if you like the cold, I'll tell you, it is coming back into play for next weekend. Look at that high on Friday. That's the first day of spring, officially. Minus one is the high for Mississauga. But look, this is your personalized forecast. I know a lot of kids in Mississauga on March break this week. Look at that. Monday... That's the sweet spot right there, 9 degrees in Mississauga. So, of course, if you want to be on the Weather Network, we air the weather selfie every Saturday, every Sunday. You can send a video to upload.theweathernetwork.com or tweet out a video with the hashtag weather selfie. And now let's talk about some very active weather. This is a look at our Stormwatch coverage into the Atlantic. Boy, what a system you're going to be dealing with. This really could be one of the biggest winter storms of the season. When we look at the track of this low, it really is perfect putting Halifax, Charlottetown, even the Fundy Shores in some of the highest snowfall totals. This is the northwest section of the low and essentially that's where the greatest precipitation falls. So we talk about 40 centimeters of snow. Yeah, that could be in your backyard. This low is really intensifying overnight tonight and then in through Sunday morning. We will have full coverage on this. Nathan Coleman, he'll be live on the ground. And then this is also going to be a story Sunday night and into Monday for Newfoundland. I'll show you where the snow is today though, Saturday. This is out in Sault Ste. Marie. And this snow, it just continued to push through and it's going to merge with a gulf low. And that's what's bringing such intense moisture out into the Atlantic. So we can see Sunday, a very stormy day out in the Atlantic. But hey, look at this. High pressure in place over Winnipeg. Perfect for the golfers. Check this out. What a way to welcome in spring. I'll be back with your full national forecast starting at 11 p.m. Eastern Time.